All right, Holy. we're rolling. We're back once again. Graveyard Shift Movie Podcast. Uh, finally, back to the regular fucking show. Always uh, has been. Always has been. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I think we're on like episode nineteen. We're almost at fucking twenty episodes. Of we're just the regular show. We're allowed to drink. When we hit twenty one, episode twenty one, we just get hammered. Yeah. Twenty mm-hmm. first birthday, twenty one, you know. Might have get to. Just <laughs> rip roaring drunk at six AM and record yeah. these. But uh but anyway, today we're talking about uh the Texas Chainsaw Massacre from nineteen seventy four, not nineteen seventy six, like I said at the end of uh that Halloween podcast. Uh, it was Tyler's pick. So, uh, Tyler, what, what do you think of it? What's your What's your ranking for this movie? I just realized that Maverick asked Bags if he had a window open just because he was wearing a stocking cap. <laughs> like, he got a window open? He's <laughs> like, like, yeah. what, like what he's he... cold. Oh, um, nah, I'm wearing a beanie, G, because it's my hair sticks straight up. Mm, <laughs> gotcha. Way to point it out, Maverick. Yeah, really fucking it up. All right. I need All I need good. some socks. My feet are cold. I'm barefoot out here. Well, you know you got the We're avalanche. We're talking about toes. the movie. Anyway. Who the fuck cares about your feet? Yeah. You know who couldn't use their feet? Franklin. Right? Franklin couldn't use his feet. Uh, I give this movie a solid uh, a nine. A nine. On hey. scale at a hundred, you fucking nerd. It's a wow. true story. Well, <laughs> this uh, really happened, and that's the beauty of it is that. Well, nothing in this loosely, yeah, it's loosely based. <laughs> yeah, on it. but like this could happen. This is very real, right? Like this is, yeah, probably happens well, every day. I I'm giving this movie an eight. Um, Peace. I'll go the Maverick because I know he's gonna just it's a fucking shit three on it. Yeah, and that's doesn't generous. appreciate the classics. Three? Can fucking... you count higher? Is three like the Dog top number shit. for you? Dog shit. You're you like, give fucking give you hours. give Halloween two Rob Zombie a six and you yeah, give this yeah. a three. They were good. That's the worst fucking movie I've ever seen. No, that these Halloween are dog two. shit fucking movies, dude. Nah, oh, yeah, that was terrible. Halloween two so bad. Anyway, hey okay. bags, what are, what are you giving this? Um, I give it a six out of ten. It was a solid horror movie. It's really like it's, it's so like slow. really bloody for the fucking time. Like, so I oh, you thought? On that shit. Usually, I talk about how people always assume this movie is so gory, but like compared to what comes after, it's not really that gory. But I guess you, you know, don't maybe. think for the time. Uh, I the only other movie before this that's sort of of the same caliber is that Black Christmas movie that now they remake what like a, every year. When did but, Cannibal Holocaust come out? Like eighty five. Oh, okay, I thought later. that was. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This so, was a cool. It was a cool flick for sure. But six maybe out of it's what. Yeah, it's one of the movies that like gets banned everywhere when it came out because they were like, it's too fucking can't show this. It's yeah. It was like I said. It it's yeah. so realistic. Like you could. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It like, makes right. makes me want to put people on hooks. Yeah, right. Yeah, keep them. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty good. I'll give them that. Like the thing about it, it's kind of like that movie Strangers. Is that what it is? Where the guys have the, the mask? They're like, why are you yeah. doing this? Is like because you were yeah. home. Yeah. yeah. Like it's exactly. that type of scary that it's like this could be going on right next door, right? And you would just never know. Like look at Tom. They coming through the roof. No, I got the fucking <laughs> heat on. And it just smells like shit's burning. I'm like, that's not good. No, that's just the it dust. smells like that for yeah. It's how it smells yeah. for the first five minutes. Anyway, all right. Well, hey, Have you guys the warning. been outside today? Oh, look how he was looking around, like he would see yeah, the flame. Yeah, I was like, maybe. <laughs> I haven't been outside. I was outside a lot yesterday, and it was like forty fucking four by the time we got home. It was like, well, oh, you were fuck, you yeah, were inside my prayers, you know. So appreciate that. But uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, well, all right. Like spoiler warning. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck me. Um, so the, the fucking spoiler dog. Warning ever. Get, get down. Go, go over there. Anyway, spoiler gun. warning. I do need the gun. Um, we're gonna <laughs> ruin this movie in case you've never seen it. Uh, Don't so see anyway, it. commence. No, fucking see it. Fuck you, Maverick. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. It's fucking garbage. You know. 
garbage. You. It was not you that garbage. bad. Man. You garbage. You garbage. We've watched you worse garbage. movies on this podcast. Much terrible. <laughs> much, terrible. Fucking... <laughs> much terrible, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. What the fuck is this? Anyway, hey, let's talk about it. Uh, first thing, so I guess, well, because, you know, the starts off and it's like it's based on a true story. Uh, mm -hmm. It kind of is. It's based off a serial killer, even though he's not really a serial killer. He killed two people, but Ed Gein, who uh, mm -hmm. was, he be his name became famous because he would rob graves and he would you know and he would skin off the fucking skin and he would wear this dress made out of human skin and he yeah, would make furniture out mm. of bones and all that shit um which he also inspired uh buffalo bill from silence of the lambs and like another killer he inspired a bunch of like movie killers um but that's the sort of the thing is okay all three characters are supposed to be the one guy like it, it's kind of crazy. He, yeah, they like split his personalities into three characters that play the villains. Yeah, yeah, which right. uh, that is the weird part. Yeah, um, but yeah. So that's what that whole true the opening title crawl and sequence alone is like so in incredible. Like just the fucking yeah. like flashes <laughs> of the uh, dead bodies and the dude. You know, being like, uh, what became known on that dreadful day. <laughs> like, it's just so good. The events of that day were to lead to the discovery of one of the most bizarre crimes in the annals of American history. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, which is all that dude got paid. What's up? Sorry, it makes that fucking sound in the camera. The fucking yeah. bulb. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which, uh, it's really cool in this movie. Uh, I think when these movies go later on, they just re use that, like, every chance they get. Yeah. yeah. I remember there's one clip later on where someone has, like, a digital camera, and it still does the sound effect. And it's like, that's not even accurate. You know what the bullshit <laughs> part is? That guy takes that picture, and I'm waiting for the noise, and it doesn't make it. It doesn't come. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, what? 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 Yeah. Um, but, so, this movie... Uh, I saw it was, so it's an independent movie. The budget's, like, minuscule. Um, even though it's not, like, the worst budget we've ever seen. It's 140000 uh, mm -hmm. is the budget. It was the highest grossing independent movie of all time until that old some bitch Halloween came around <laughs> and knocked it off. Two uh, years later? Uh, five years. Yeah, I was saying, Wait, at, four years later. You're like, of all time, until, and it was like, yeah, it's a three-year run. Well, hey, it, you know, it's four years. It's something. But it made, uh, 30 million worldwide. Damn. So, shout out to them. 30 million people that disagree with Maverick. 30 million. Um, but yeah. But there's some points in this movie, I was telling Tyler about it, where it's like there's parts where they needed sound effects but like they couldn't afford it or something like the first time i remember it happens is when franklin for some reason they stop on the side of the road he has to take a piss uh he has to take a piss but then they hand him a can to piss yeah. in the can and i was like what mm -hmm. okay sure that. but then this truck comes by and it like spooks him or his brakes go loose or it, something it hits him with shit like there's rocks it's oh. like asphalt yeah it's, but, it like slings mud at them but that's the thing is there's no, like, sound effect there. It just drives by, and then all of a sudden it's, like, real quiet, and just him, like, going down the, the hill. And I was like, what happened there? Why did he just go? No <laughs> Why idea. did he just fall down that hill? Which, uh, you know, it's always entertaining watching so the guy in the wheelchair go down there. <laughs> the guy has to piss in a can because he would just end up pissing on himself, right? Yeah. Like, it's pretty, it's like a bedpan know. or whatever. Because, like, yeah, you could pee. The wheelchair and guy? Yeah, you could pee and it would go like down the hill. You'd be like, "Ooh, that's fine." But when you uh -huh. stop, it's got to go somewhere, right? It's going to yeah. so. Well, what if Franklin just had that horse meat and then like it hung over the side of the chair? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> so, so then it wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, that meat. 
That's Schmidt. <laughs> he definitely did. Um, I'm gonna guess by the scene of him doing the, the raspberries later that, that he did it. Had any meat. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate that dude. Like I hate minutes. him so much. If I have any more fun today, I don't think I'm gonna be able to take it. That, yeah, that dude, uh, they talk about how his character is supposed to be, like, sort of sympath sympathetic, but also so annoying that, like, you don't really feel sympathy towards him. And that dude, mm -hmm. apparently, was like, this character is so annoying, if I ever go out of character, I'm gonna lose it. So he just played Franklin the entire time, to the point that everyone on set hated him. And, like, they didn't <laughs> want to sit by him. So then, like, his scenes where he was left alone would be even worse for him because he's already used to people leaving him alone and shit. But it's great. So shout Solid out to Solid acting, dude. dude. Solid acting. Yeah. Which, uh... <laughs> Solid acting. Method acting. Method acting. It's good. The original method actor. That was him. <laughs> he's um, the first one. Let me ask you all a question. I'm saying it was Daniel Day. <laughs> no, it's gotta be... Fuck Daniel Day. It's all about Franklin. <laughs> oh, Frank. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Is it me or were those chicks way too hot for those dudes? Just way too hot. Like, something about them 70s girls always gets the juices flowing. I'm like, damn, these bitches fine. <laughs> like, I don't know what Those guys had a bunch of pot. That one dude was like a, a good looking dude. Yeah, that other fucking... dude looked like he was forty. Huh? <laughs> yeah, the other dude fun. did look like he looked was like, like forty or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was yeah. weird. But you know, there's that one shot of her when she's walking up to the house, and like it's just her mm -hmm. ass in the frame, and like it's funny now watching it, and you're like, oh, that's you know, that's nothing compared to yeah, what's on camera movies placement, nowadays. Man. But like back then, it was like, oh. They just put this woman's buttocks <laughs> in the frame. And, uh, yeah, so shout out to her. Which apparently she, maybe... when she saw that scene, she was like, oh, no, my butt. And nowadays she's like, look at that butt. <laughs> so... Do you remember the one with the remake with Jessica Biel where it was like her in that shot? Yeah. Yeah. Classic. Yeah. Classic. Shout out Jessica Biel, former Texas yeah. Chainsaw co-star. I sent you a message, Thomas, about a question I didn't know if I could ask. Okay. But, um... Let me review it. I feel good because this movie doesn't use nudity and, like, sex to sell, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah like, yeah. it's not like, look at titties, you know, and, uh... Yeah. Titty. But, uh... I mean, I, I was like, alright. I was like, this is good. I mean, it does use sex appeal because there's a part where Leatherface is a woman making dinner. And I'm like, that was pretty that was the yeah. I was like, oh, what's she cooking in that kitchen? You know, so it's pretty good. I liked it. I don't, I don't know. Hey, everyone, quiet. Okay, Tyler wants to ask about uh, apparently this white, the chick in the white pants, who's like the Did you girl. Say everyone, quiet, so you could cut this. If it... I don't know if we'll cut it or not, but we'll we'll see. Oh, but okay. apparently, Tyler says that her camel toe is just out the whole time. What? Yeah, the, the girl, the white pants. Every time she's walking, the pants are so tight. All you see is her lips just dangling. <laughs> the lips Straight just shot. Dangling. Yeah, Straight like shot. Straight pussy lips. Yeah, and I was like, oh my lord. Um, I'll have to find it. Yeah, keep this in, bro. Movie. Hey, fuck it. Keeping yeah. it in. I don't you know, un uninstalled it? But just go to the part where she's, like, walking up to the house or anything, and she's, like... It's very obvious, and I was like, oof. I didn't notice it. Was this shit yeah. on Prime? I had to search it, it on the stick. It was on Prime, but when you watch it, you got commercials because it was on IMDb, whatever. Oh. Hell, yeah. So, but, uh, it wasn't that bad. I watched it with the commercials. Yeah. But... Yeah, I'm sure it was cool. But yeah, they didn't use sex or anything. It's just like depra I The one with Jessica Biel obviously tried to use like lust and stuff. But this one's like good old wholesome murder. Good old wholesome murder. Yeah, that's what we like to see here on the channel. <laughs> yeah, it's the first time in a horror movie where a person gets knocked out by a broom. So yeah, was God like, damn, that was so fun. funny. Like just his little favorite. Like, <laughs> yeah, just his smacking her on the head. Is weird, man. Yeah, that's great. It's Which weird. For years, I always thought that that guy was the dad of Leatherface and uh, the hitchhiker dude. 
but uh they're they're brothers they're three brothers really not, yeah which yeah i always thought that dude was the dad but they never mentioned the dad in this one they got the grand grand pop but they never talk about where uh where the regular dad is when um but, when she's running upstairs and she sees both of them in in the chairs uh-huh the, the <laughs> dead grandmother i'm guessing and then it looked like that dude was dead, man, just sitting in the chair. Mm-hmm. I was I like, mean, he just looks bummified. Like he is, kind of, like it's weird. He's supposed to be like that. He's supposed to look dead, and then he sucks on that finger, and you're like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> he sucks yeah, on the well, finger, and then he's like, he's dancing and shit while he's doing it. Like that Six Flags commercial. <laughs> you know? Yeah, he looked like the Six Flags guy. <laughs> but yeah, it's... yeah, that was weird. They picked up that guy hitchhiking in the beginning. Uh-huh. And they're like, what's He looks what's going weird. On? Yeah. <laughs> and then Franklin's like, oh, great. A Dracula. A family, yeah. a family of Draculas. Yeah. God, Franklin was so great. He was pretty good. That dude, like, I get they think he's working at the slaughterhouse. But the second he gets in and he's got, like, blood on his face. And he's like, ah, he's all smiling like that. I was like... I feel like we should just drop this guy off yeah. right now. Was that blood or was that because he had was a wound? Whole... That was a scar. Yeah. Like someone put his face into a hot plate or something. I thought it was like a streak of blood on his face. So this is 1974. Yeah. And he takes her picture and he's like two bucks. And they uh-huh. were so aghast that he would ask for money for that picture. Yeah. He just asked him for two dollars. Yeah. They're like, oh picture. my god! And I was like, what? It's two bucks? What? But that was probably like a full tank of gas for them. Probably gas was Something. like five cent a gallon. That was like well, also, today. Yeah. Well, also Franklin was like, really didn't come out too good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But he burns it randomly. He fucking burns it. Yeah. Yeah. He just pulls out tin foil and lights the bitch on fire. And they're At all like, I've, "Oh shit!" They they kind of do it again later. Where um, at first I thought he was doing some type of like devil ceremony with the picture where he was like getting them for dead and then when they get out he puts his blood on the side of the van and they say it's a symbol of something yeah but they never like go further into it what that guy was making the symbol which it just sort of they could have just simply said oh he marked the van but no he like made a specific later on leatherface does that same symbol with his chainsaw on something i forgot what it was but he when, does like um, the almost like a Jesus fish with a line through it, uh-huh. and I was like, "What is this?" <laughs> and I, I just don't know what that's. It could just be Leatherface being Leatherface or what, but it might have been the door before he cut through it. But when um when dude pulled out that tin foil to burn the picture, I really thought it was just he was gonna pull out like heroin. I just thought it was going oh, straight yeah. to drugs. Oh, like oh shit. <laughs> Yeah. And then he just Straight puts like gunpowder the foil. On. Yeah. yeah. And I was yeah. like, what the fuck? Dude's about well, he, to does, heroin. he does all this after he's already taken fucking Franklin's knife and like carved into his hand. And like, if they weren't going to drop him off before, the second dude starts cutting into his hand, <laughs> that's when I'd be like, all right, <laughs> get this guy out of here. Yeah, it was fucking weird. So, I don't know. Which he apparently pulled- that dude, go ahead. Is that he pulls out his own little knife and it's like a fucking razor, and it's I was like, like he's yeah. about to kill all of these people, right? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. And he leaves the van pretty, <laughs> like he's like, okay, you know, he just gets. Yeah, out. he just gets out. I figure so he gets out, that, so. but then he like runs next to him. He's like, ah, ah, and he's like <laughs> kicking the tire. Yeah, that was good. I like the little effect when he cuts Franklin's arm and you see like the blood vessel pop. It's like, pss, pss. Mm-hmm. oh, that was good, good. stuff. But yeah. But yeah, apparently that dude, I think, I wouldn't say it was his cousin. I remember watching a documentary about this a while ago. But I think it was his cousin had schizophrenia or something. And like he said that he just went to the audition and acted like he had schizophrenia. But he wanted to point out, he was like, my cousin's not like violent killer. He's like, he just is weird sometimes. And so, yeah, which apparently, there's a whole bunch of, because then uh, Gunnar Hansen, who plays Leatherface, they basically told him to adapt them however he wanted to play them. And so he decided to make it so he has, like, a mental illness. And he sort of pushed around by his family and shit. And, like, he wanted to make it as, as least offensive as he could to, like, people with mental handicaps. 
And apparently, like, this is... There's those lists of, like, mentally disabled people's favorite movies. And, like, this is on there. They think he did a good job. So, shout out to Gunnar Hansen. Fuck that guy. Oh, wow. I mean, he's super dead. He's, he's dead as bitch. fuck. Died, like, six, seven years ago. Shit on his grave. He was but, very handsome. But handicapped man. people love this movie? Yeah. Well, if you think about really? it, it's kind of like the handicapped people are getting back on them, right? Like... <laughs> you got, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at me, I'm the yellow face. I mean, they, yeah. they do win, you know? They do. Yeah, the first, like, couple kills in this movie is like a home invasion where yeah. Leatherface is just defending his house. Where, With a fucking uh, hammer. Yeah, after that first... When he kills that dude with the hammer, that was crazy. When he that dude like trips, and then he just looks up and the face like ah, and smacks him. Well, no, he, kills he that um, other... the first dude, he does a trip. He, yeah, yeah, he, he fucking hits rocks him. him in the fucking head with the hammer. He's on the ground, no, like spazzing totally, out. There's totally when he walks in, he like trips over and basically like falls in the Leatherface's chest, and then he looks up and Leatherface is like oh, <laughs> comes and hits him. <laughs> yeah, and then he's on the ground dancing. <laughs> He is dancing. <laughs> that freaked which, me out a little bit. When people like are spasm on the ground, it freaks me spasms, out. Spasms, yeah. Which goes back to the uh, Franklin talking about all the sledgehammers don't usually kill the cows in one hit. Yeah. And they shake around. Oh, uh, you talking about yeah. dude was twitching on the ground and shit? Yeah. Were he's practically dancing? dead at that point, right? Uh, I mean, his yeah, brain's fucked, fucked up. Uh, yeah, he's dead, but like his body's still... Uh, yeah. They haven't got oh, that head cheese yet. Up. I'll get the gun. Not the gun. Uh, oh, but yeah. Which another thing we could go we could go into is this movie is basically which I think I read the director said he didn't set out to do it, but this movie is like on the top ten list of PETA of like the most vegetable you know, like anti meat movies in the world. Where mm-hmm. All these people, it's supposed to be like a like a metaphor. All the people are supposed to be like, oh, this is how cattle are treated. And they're hung on the hooks while they're alive and they're bled out so they can be eaten and all this shit. To the point that, shout out to Guillermo del Toro, he uh, says this movie is what made him go vegetarian when he saw it in like the uh, 80s or some shit. Well, they didn't really focus on it that much. Mm-hmm. But they're 100% eating people, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then I think really people thought. hung up cooking, right, in the little we, gas station. Yeah, I mean, they didn't like it. Was weird. They showed it, but they didn't like show it. Show it. Yeah, like, it was real like vague. But yeah, 100%. I think. Yeah, I think later on they go super cannibal. But yeah, this one is just sort of alluded yeah. to. Yeah. Um. So but, let me ask y'all a question. Okay. Why do you think the oldest brother... I always thought he was the dad, too. But why do you uh-huh. think the oldest brother was telling him not to go to the house? Like, he tried to save him. He was like, don't go yeah. there. Just leave. They don't want to go there, you know? And it was like, what? And, you know, everyone else was all about murdering. But <laughs> this guy was like, you don't want to do well, that. Well, that guy, he did have the line where he was like, I just can't take no pleasure in killing. Even though then when he's watching the granddad try to hammer that girl, he's like, ah. he's like yeah. jumping and shit. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why he didn't, like, steer them in the right direction. But, I, even though then it sort of seems like, because he says he doesn't have any gas, but it sort of seems like he, that's part of the plan. Because then the people would run out of gas and they're easier to get to and stuff. Yeah, that's weird as fuck. Maybe he had gas all along. Was it was like, always this gas. Band full of- <laughs> always had. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. it's uh. All right, you ready to do the, my favorite segment of this whole thing? Uh, hey, my favorite and least favorite. Time to do the roundabout. Oh God, I thought you were gonna like butt in with something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, like, I just right, cut you, you off. Just, yeah, you could have just said no. Yeah, right. no. Go ahead. What's your What's your favorite and least favorite? Uh, um. My favorite part is uh that dude. Going down the hill in the chair. It's pretty good. And I'm going to hell for that. My least favorite part Uh, also involves Franklin, where he's randomly Uh, stabbing the side of the van with the pocket knife. And he's like, I just started. (laughs) You're like, what? (laughs) It's like, what? what? Okay. But, yeah. That guy was weird. Dude, I have a lot of other favorites, but that's just the one that I was like, what? (laughs) What am I watching? 
Bags, you got a favorite and least favorite? I laughed at that wheelchair part. It's yeah. great. <laughs> You're a horrible person. Yeah, bro. Fuck, Fuck leather. I don't, and I don't have a least favorite part, but I did like that part where he was fucking going down the hill. Yeah, that was good. Uh, yeah. Fa favorite? My favorite's probably the uh, the fucking crazy jump scare when Franklin's like, I hear something. And then he just turns the light. And, and the leather's like, oh, yeah, yeah. And it's like, oh, shit. I remember when I saw that first time, it scared the shit out of me. And even still, knowing it was coming, I was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> like, There's another yeah. really good part. At the uh, of, well, okay, I take it back. I have a a, a, a favorite part, but uh huh. Well, like when the truck driver like pulls up and he's like, <laughs> "Oh shit!" He... <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> so you know, but when he's like walking to the back of the truck, yeah. and leather comes. He's like, "Ah!" <laughs> and he's like the perfect that... amount of tubby. Yeah, where he's, like he looks like he's running in slow motion. Oh, your little potato dogs in the back. Yeah, you go pick it he's up. Back. Uh, throw let, it. Let little throw Ben in on it. the podcast. Throw it. The fans deserve it. I can't get them. I got them. The fan uh, deserve to see your potato dog. There's the potato dog. He's like How a old is big he? bean burrito. He's like four. What color five? is that dog? I would say he's like tan. tan. Yeah, I would say like gold, right? He's like a golden yeah. retriever well, stuck in the body of a. Well, the, oh, I can't show his pee pee on camera. He was so small when they like got that. him, man. Yeah, we fatted him up real fast. Alright, yeah, say goodbye, good. Ben. See you, Ben. <laughs> bye. Bye, Ben. He's just fucking... Lady, you just he's just a lady ass. over your shoulder. Yeah. You're like, say goodbye to Ben. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uncle <laughs> yeah. Just... yeah. Uh, least favorite might involve that truck or two where for some reason they get into the truck and leather is like sort of cutting into the side yeah. of the door but that hasn't got be... through it and then for some reason... They don't drive away. The guy just gets out. And they go out the other side. That might be where he puts that symbol on the door. Maybe. So. Mm. Well, he yeah. grabs that wrench, too. The wrench is fucked. That crazy wrench throw is wild. And he hits him I in the head. I think that was my favorite like, ah. part. Yeah. He's, they're, they're both just going down. He turns around. He's like, ding! <laughs> and just, like, just gets his yeah. dude. He nailed that so good. So, and then he yeah. falls down, cuts his own leg, and he's like, ah! Yeah, you hear him like, ah! <laughs> well, my oh, favorite yeah. part has to be the end, right? Where he's just dancing. The end's great. Just him just, yeah, just twirling the, the chainsaw yeah. around in the road. I um, That was my favorite when dude gets fucking dinged with the wrench. Uh huh. The least favorite was... That bitch just screaming, dude, the whole time. Hey, you want to? That you girl covered something? in blood. Yeah. yeah. We were at work the other day, and I told Tyler, I was like, "Bet you Myra's gonna shit on that girl screaming for twenty minutes at the dinner table, <laughs> dude." Not just at the dinner, the fucking dinner the, table. The dinner table. <laughs> that damn dinner the table. Dimmer. Goddamn fucking... dimmer dome. <laughs> anyway. Hey, but running through the woods, getting chased. Out on the street, mm -hmm. just just the whole time. Hey, that, just... that woman is a survivor. She jumped through like three <laughs> windows. Three windows, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she did not care. Yeah. Holy I saw shit. a fun fact where it was like, uh, that girl jumps out of more windows in this movie than Leatherface kills people with a chainsaw. <laughs> like, I was like, oh that's shit, fun. that's right. Do you remember that weird part to where she's like begging for a life or whatever? She, and she gets real quiet, and she's like, I'll do anything. She totally, yeah, she's going to fuck go. those dudes. Uh, yeah, like, you know. and I was like, whoa, 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 what kind of movie are we getting here? Yeah, I was like, this is Hello. some dark shit. Oh, fucky sucky. Yeah. Oh, fucky sucky in the greenhouse. <laughs> in the greenhouse. <laughs> <laughs> they, um, yeah. we could talk about that fucking fuck. part where they're trying to get the granddad to fucking kill her like a cow. That's great. That's so I good. was like, what the fuck is this? Maverick, that's family. You just don't understand what family yeah, is man. all about. You know, Granddad always has been the best at killing. <laughs> uh, y'all, y'all are laughing and making fun of this, but I thought it was kind of sweet how Leatherface would like hold the dude's hand. Yeah, he was like, the hammer, and he was the, like, and he's like doing it for him. Yeah, like yeah. he's like, I got did you, you notice Grandpa. Leatherface's sweet bracelet he was wearing in that scene? 
where he just mm -hmm. has some like it was just a sweet little bracelet and i was like look at this guy he's wearing some accessories and shit <laughs> like... dude, dude checking out jewelry and so oh, i know yeah, yeah, yeah that um, seems so good that fucking the... the bone couch when you first see it yeah, i thought that was the coolest fucking thing it's pretty right, cool. We got us a psychopath. <laughs> right. like, they did a really good job on it. Like, ever, I fuck all the other bones. Like, uh, they it just they just took <laughs> random bones and placed around. But yeah. the bone couch was pretty dope. What about the uh, the dead guy that they posed on that? I guess. That was wild. That's right, probably when yeah. we make the thumbnail of this video. It was Wait, pretty crazy. What, what dead guy? It was the dude at the beginning that, where yeah. it's just that dude like. <laughs> that was weird as fuck. Yeah, I didn't understand that. Yeah. That was crazy. Um, so, for some, okay. his, all his well, skin real, was gone. Real quick, before we, the scene after you see the bone couch when the bitch is about to run out, and oh, Leatherface just chases her out the door and like pulls her back yeah, in, grabs it's her, yeah, wild. Yeah, that's what that happens cool if you shot. sub to my channel. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right. That's yeah, it <laughs> is. That's one hundred percent. Yeah. Um, uh, what about when he has the pictures of all the things he's killed and he shows mm -hmm. them, and they're not even like dead animals; they're like fully butchered. Right, yeah, it looks like a rack of ribs or whatever. Like, yeah, they've already like been gutted and everything. Uh, and I'm like, what is this? Is just the uh, you buy yeah, this the grocery stuff. Hey, um, what well, what was up with that hoe popping out the freezer? Like, I don't like. I don't understand. And then what was the? It was like <laughs> it made some weird sound effect. Yeah, oh, it's like she pops out. Airtight. So I think that was him suffocating her. Yeah. And then when do you know when they opened it, she was like, uh, you know, because hmm. it I wasn't even that... the same girl, was it? It was the same girl. It was the blonde, the one that was on the hook. Man, that girl yeah. was yeah. the brownest off. hair ever. Yeah, that was just because she was so scared. Turn brown. Or turn brown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was that like hook. She she pops out of the for like sits up, and yeah. then dude comes over like and just. <laughs> push yeah, it back, yeah, man. Yeah. And she's like not moving or anything. I thought she was already dead. I don't. That's How why does... I was confused. That that hook scene is another one of the parts where I said they should have had a sound effect, where he just like, you can tell he sits her on there, but there's no sound. It's just her going ah like that, and it's like oh <laughs> okay. I know from my but... vast experience of fishing that every time uh -huh. I get a fish on the hook, they don't make a sound either. Listen, I know they don't, but this is a movie. <laughs> You like know in, those fish you know, are in like there. A... Oh fuck! Yeah. <laughs> <That's the stuff laughs> <I'm> like, <"Ooh." laughs> oh god damn! This shit hurt. <laughs> well, those yeah. croakers—they go. Quark, 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 yeah. You know? yeah. But. <clears throat> I don't know. Oh, um, fuck. I saw that lady. That lady randomly said that she likes to believe that her character escaped and lived. The one that was in the freezer. Because she thought her character was a fighter. And I was like, nah, that chick dead. I was like, <laughs> I was like she, she ain't coming back. Well, you don't she's see her cold. die. She's right? cold. You don't see her die, no. She but, dead. yeah. Um, John Lecret. Witherspoon. No, John Lecret. I'm sure that's not how you say it. But Are he's the dude that does the... Reese Witherspoon. Yeah. What? John <laughs> Witherspoon is, is randomly the dad from Friday. Yeah, yeah, he is. R.I.P. R.I.P. He was the first one killed Pops. in this movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If he was uh, in this movie, made it fucking way better. Someone opened no. a window. Um, but anyway, he's the guy that does the narration at the beginning. Uh, his payment for doing the open narration was a was a marijuana joint. Nice. You know, you know it was, was gonna be like a hot dog and a five dollar bill. Like, nope. But shit, he got a better deal than I thought he did. Yeah. Shit, a two dollar bill maybe. <laughs> Three dollar bill, y'all. Three dollars. Yeah, I was really I wanted to say that. Right? <laughs> yeah. You're like, I'd already wasted it on the two dollar bill. Yeah. You're like, damn it. Fuckers. <laughs> no. Um, I just Leatherface is such a weird anomaly. Like the fact that anyone would write this, I mean, obviously it's kind of based on that dude, but it it's like truly twisted, right? And truly sick. Because yeah. based the on the stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, this isn't like you know Jason to where it's some like random unknown entity getting shot seventeen times and still just killing or whatever. Yeah, this is like mm -hmm. him cutting his leg at the end solidified everything because then it just wasn't a monster; it was a man in like a face suit or whatever. But that's a yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. Because it's like 
you got to think like when this guy isn't killing, he's just sitting in some basement or some shit. You yeah. don't really know what Jason is doing. Licking his, Jason's licking his doing. teeth and shit. Yeah. His fucking like weird Jason. ass fucked up teeth. Yeah. That he had like grinded into like fucking like oh, man. spice. Yeah. Once you meet like everyone else in the family, it's it goes from zero to a hundred real fast. Well, yeah, I'm looking mm. forward to those. I, I think I've seen like clips. Probably. Well, I know oh, one person who won't be back. Motherfucking the hitchhiker, dude got ran over by the semi. Oh yeah, he did. I just don't know what they are. He did. That was funny as fuck. Yeah. Which I say that to be fair, technically the hitchhiker is back in Texas Chainsaw Two. Technically. But whenever we watch that one, you know. fuck that one, bro. So we did a <laughs> text chase out too so good, goddammit. <laughs> Doesn't the second one end up where that truck is just going right back to the house? No, the second one's at the radio station, right? Yeah, with Chop Top. Yeah, fuck. Music oh, is my life. <laughs> what the you fuck? You do like that one, though, don't you? I so good. Hated that one. <laughs> uh, Maybe we'll do an overtime on it. Um, but anyway, who's got uh, who's got next pick? That's Maverick. We'll get to oh, that. Shit. Get to that peninsula second. looking motherfucker. The uh, the dinner scene that Maverick says is his least favorite part is the part that everyone who works on this movie is like it was the worst thing I've ever fucking filmed. They're like it was 110 degrees in like Texas heat. It's during the daytime. There's rough. no air condition. They're like uh, Leatherface is wearing this fucking giant, you know, this mask. Uh, all this shit. What's his face? He plays the hitchhiker. I have his name. But I saw he said it was the worst experience that he's ever had in his life. <laughs> and uh, he was in Vietnam. And he was like, so keep that in mind. <laughs> so, he was uh, probably in Vietnam what? like on business. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just, like, <laughs> like the Vietnam. on vacation in like 97. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's okay. Hold on. I'm gonna call bullshit. Okay. It it was a f- what was so bad? It was hot. Is that they're complaining about? It was hot. Like what? What's Texas so bad? Texas heat is different, no, man. No well, because the they floor. said it was it was they were boiling. All the food they had rotted. It was the seventies. Smelled. They fucking smell like dick. Like Everyone was wearing like the same crusty outfits they've been wearing for three yeah, weeks before. They stink, boy. They stink. Seventies, uh, yeah, nasty pussy. Yeah, for some reason, the time they had washing <laughs> machines in the seventies, man. They so, didn't have deodorant. They did, hundred percent. That was the thing. No, <laughs> yeah. they, had, they didn't have deodorant. They stink. They had all these things, but you know, it's... they didn't have water. I was back there. Then they didn't. Yeah. Shit, that was a time traveler. There was a part where Franklin was in the van, and he was like, it's so hot. It's so (laughs) hot. He was a whiny little bitch, was he? Yeah. I kept thinking they made him somewhat retarded, right? He was. He was definitely. Well, he was saying he was from that town. Everybody in that town retarded. Hmm. Well, there was that one part where he's just like, Sally, let me have the flashlight, Sally. Sally. Sally, come back. I'll come with you with the flashlight, Sally. (laughs) I was like, shut the fuck but up. But he was the only smart one. He was like, they'll leave the keys. We'll just leave. We'll come back. Yeah. They, they got the, the keys. Key. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. He was so upset. <laughs> yeah. And then what's that one dude's name? Where it's like, uh, Spencer. the one they kept yelling for. Uh, I don't know, but he kept on being like, Spencer! <laughs> <laughs> 100% wasn't Spencer. No, well, I don't remember what that guy's name was. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, Jesus. Entertainment Weekly magazine voted this uh, the second scariest film ever made. Care to take a guess at what they said was the first? Halloween. Um, Those have eyes. Black Christmas. No, none of you were right. It was The Exorcist. Really? Fuck you. Fuck you. You (laughs) Uh, It's not my pick this week. Uh, I know that. Uh huh. But everyone keeps talking about how scary Poltergeist is. And I remember watching it and not thinking it was that scary. I thought it was a kid's movie. I was never into the polter. <laughs> when yeah. I watched it, I watched it when I was like eight. I thought it was like a kid's yeah, I never, scary movie. They, they keep saying something about a clown scene was like cop mm. nightmare. And they oh, blame yeah. it for everyone <sighs> being afraid of clowns. <sighs> but so, anyway. Oh, the other serial killer that Ed Gein is 
based uh wait yeah it, anyway but it's the fucking what's his face from psycho norman, norman he's bates ba- yeah he's based gotcha. off ed gein ed um, gein he has books and stuff out like i don't oh. think he wrote them but they're wrote, written about him like he's yeah. like the most prolific yeah. serial killer he didn't kill like they don't know how many he killed but like Gein- he, what his friend what his friends called him. Gini boy. Yeah. Did did you guys notice during that dinner scene there's a part where like all their voices of the family like mix into like demon noises or pig noises? Yeah, or pig noises, yeah. I thought yeah, yeah, it was like, like zoomed in on her eye. Yeah. Weird. Which they did it earlier when uh, that bitch walked in the house and she could hear like like coming from the room. But yeah, I don't. That was weird. I was like, "What? What is that?" Well, when also the, that chick had every feeling known to man when her mouth was open. I was like, "Oh did. my god!" The, uh, <laughs> when the science teacher, fifty-year-old dude who's dating that young girl, yeah, I don't know what goes he's doing to the here. house. He hears like a girl giggling. Yeah, he's like, "Hee hee 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 hee." There's no girl in that house. Yeah, like, it's it's really There's some weird stuff. Yeah. Um, you're weird stuff. Shit, you got me. But yeah. Also, we it was I know cool. we, yeah we talked about leather at the end with swinging the chainsaw around. But I think that her scene is just as iconic of her in the back of the truck, where she's like screaming and then turns into like laughter because she just escaped and shit. Yeah. Which uh. Yeah, which is somewhat reminiscent oh. of uh. <laughs> Halloween 2018, how that one ends, kinda. They're not like screaming and laughing and shit, but so. <clears throat> I, I don't know about that conclusion. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm I support per- that. Hey, I don't support you. You're the worst hey, brawl like that. ever. Shit, I'm about to jump off here. What is the next right. movie, or should I wait for you to post it later? No, we could Maverick. You want to? Whatever- What's you the next tell one? Tell everyone what off, your maybe. next movie is. Uh-huh. If it's Peninsula, I'm gonna kill you. It's not wow. Peninsula. Oh. It did come out, and I did watch it though. I watched Peninsula? half of it. I haven't watched the full thing. Goddamn, boys. No, no, this. No one will ever suggest this movie, and if they do, uh, they're not my friend anymore. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, Maverick, hit us with it. It is a uh, House of a Thousand Corpses. There you go. All right. Solid. Were you like a new Rob, Rob Zombie fan all of a He's, sudden or something? Uh, I, mean, nice. I guess so. He likes that shitty Halloween 2 movie. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen it, Mav? House of a Thousand Corpses? No, it would be yeah. my first time. You Fuck might crazy. you might be the only one who's ever seen it. I've Yeah, I've seen it a couple times. Yeah, me and Bags and... Wait. <laughs> <laughs> me, me and Tyler and Maverick have never seen it. But yeah. I've seen pieces, but yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll catch it's you later. It's disgusting. Yo, yeah. be safe, guys. I'm gonna hit you See up. You. All right, play. Um, but there he goes off into the. Oh, he's still here. He just turned the camera off. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> right. oh. oh, hello. Am I still connected? Actually, yeah. yeah. Right now you are. You uh, worked, oh my bad. You left and then came back. Oh, oh there he goes off. <laughs> <laughs> Off into the night. I really like this movie. I don't know how. I don't know how you didn't like it, man. Yeah, it was not good. I wonder if the remakes you they remind you of your childhood. You remind mm-hmm. me of Franklin a lot, though, man. <laughs> I thought it was Thomas. No, hey, Thomas. Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> you got my knife. I remember giving it to yeah. you. Yeah, it's yeah. so fucking bad. Hey, also last. Last little fact, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre is what inspired Ridley Scott to make Alien, which uh, some people have even called Alien a Texas Chainsaw Massacre in space. I don't really see that comparison, but hey, shout out Ridley Scott. <laughs> I mean, you got to realize this came out in 74 or 76? Uh-huh, 74. It's like 44 years old. Yeah. This movie is older than your dad, man. That's not true. My dad's 47. That's not true. <laughs> anyway. Tom knows how old your dad is. Boom. Yeah.
Yeah, How old is I my actually. Dad? Thirty-five. No. He's <laughs> 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 like my brother's twenty-eight. What happened? Hey, it was a weird childhood. Um, but anyway, yeah. So it was about time we covered this one. Yeah. Which. Uh, I don't know when we'll ever do the other ones, but probably never. they kind of get. We'll we'll do them eventually, but they yeah. Like I said, I like two, and then they kind of get a little little muddy, yeah. and I like some of the remakes. But um, there's one anyway. that, have that has like a badass chick in it, and she's like part of the Leatherface family, and she's like, "Go get him, Cuzzo!" And she like six Leatherface on oh, people. God. It's really crazy. Oh shit! And then you got that kind of one. Remakes that, I really like that one. Oh fuck! Who the f- who the fuck is calling you? I don't know. They stopped halfway through though. He muted his oh. mic. I really liked that one when it came out, and then uh, the more I look at it now, I'm like, "Ooh, I don't know about that one." <laughs> this motherfucker taking a phone call. He is. Um, what was I, I was gonna say something. Shit. Fuck. How they get real muddled later on. Oh, I was gonna talk about uh. So there's three different masks in this movie that the Leatherface mom. wears. There's the regular just leather face mask. There's damn, I returned the video was, off and everything. I was gonna read his lips. His daddy did. No, I <laughs> totally got arrested. No. <laughs> um Two is two, which he doesn't wear very long. It's when the the older brother and them come back. He has like a granny mask on. Yeah, yeah like he's which, cooking or whatever, right? Yeah, it's, which is called the old lady mask apparently. And then there's the pretty lady mask, which is my favorite out of the three, oh, which is cool. the one he wears at the table, yeah. um, which is solid. But uh, but yeah, I read Gunnar Hansen talked about how each mask was supposed to uh, pick which personality Leatherface had at the time. And like the the first one, the Leatherface mask, he calls the killing mask, which that's when it's time to, you know, butcher the, yeah. the cattle and shit. The old woman mask is supposed to be when he's like taking care of the house. And he's like, wants to be, you know, that scene was weird too. And he's like, <laughs> he's like talking like that. And then the pretty woman mask supposed to be obviously for special occasions. But, well, uh, I felt bad because like the guy comes home and he's like, you didn't let them escape, did you? And he was like, yeah. no, no. He's like, you get them all. And he was like, yeah, yeah. And the guy was like, he's mad because he doesn't get to hit them. So he's like, well, my door! And he's that, like, that was my favorite part, even though I already said a different favorite part. But Leatherface carves in that door. Doesn't do a very good job. He could have just, like, sliced one yeah. thing and then unlocked the door. But he carves that door and comes in and chases that lady upstairs. But then later, when the, the older brother gets back with the hitchhiker, he stops and he goes, Look at what your brother did to the door! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're supposed to be here watching him. Yeah, that was good. But anyway, so. well, I guess we're gonna wrap this up. I don't know what Mara's doing. Uh, um, the two champions closing it out. Started, yeah. Um, but anyway, hey, thanks for listening. Uh, go check out. We just did a marathon of all the Halloween movies. If you want to listen to those, and now we get to watch another Rob Zombie film. Another Rob Zombie movie. House of a Thousand Corpses. I think you should have vetoed that. But that's just my opinion. Oh, yeah? Um, which, yeah. So shout out to House of a Thousand Corpses. Which I think this one, House of a Thousand Corpses, is supposed to be like the... Uh, is that the first one at least? Coco wants to leave. Yeah, that's the first one. Um, but I think this one's supposed to be like super over the top and like uh, a crazy horror movie. And then Devil Rejects, which is the next one, is supposed to be more of a grounded horror movie so it's all supposed to be the best one out of all of them i think i've heard that that's what yeah but we gotta start off at the beginning you know mm-hmm. um so anyway yeah next week uh house of a thousand corpses uh go check out the halloween ones there's a whole bunch of other movies we did i'm sure you can find something to listen to uh like share subscribe all that good stuff uh thanks for listening on spotify we're on all those spotify google podcasts uh yeah 
So anyway, thanks hey, for how listening. Many, how many likes okay. does this video have to get for you to get a haircut? 15,000. 15,000? <laughs> Our highest yeah. liked video is like 12. I don't know. Hey, well, this is going to be the new one. All right. 100 likes and you shave off that rat on the top of your head. Wow. I don't know. Um, it would be a good reason. You've been wanting to get it cut anyways. So, you know. <laughs> yeah. But anyways. Yeah. All right. Thanks, well, thanks for listening. See you next week for House of a Thousand Corpses.